Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be attending imaginary weddings because none of us have attended weddings in such a long time. In fact, I was supposed to be attending a wedding in Kerala right now and eating biryani. And don't let anyone tell you it's a lot of makeup. You can wear as much or as little as you want. It's nobody's business. A lot of people told me that in my previous video, I sounded like I was explaining photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, photosynthesis, uh, I'll try to be more fun and uh, you know not zone out in between. I'm sure this is gonna be over very soon and we are all gonna be attending all those canceled weddings. And for that, we need to brush up our makeup skills. We need to be ready because you never know when this shit's gonna end and it's gonna be like, hey babe, it's my wedding tomorrow. You know, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes because I'm trying to do something very elaborate, very like nice to make myself feel all wedding-y. So for that, I'm gonna be using mainly the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. Like you don't have to use this, you just need to have similar shades, that's all. So I'm actually doing my eyes first so that then I can clean up uh, if there's any fallout or if I mess anything up. First I'm just gonna... Uh, apply some concealer. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer uh, above my eyes as a base for the uh, eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking this color over here, like the darkest shade, and put it on my outer corners and my inner corners. I'm packing it on. Almost creating like a U over here. Okay, mine kind of looks like a W, but U is what you want to create. And then I'm going to take the same color and pack it into my inner corners as well. And then connect them at the top. Don't worry about the edges and all now. We're going to clean it up anyways. That's what it looks like. I know it looks crazy. I know I look like a mad person. You're going to take a nice fluffy brush and tap it into this nice uh, warm color over here. We're just going to use that color to just blend everything in. Basically, just want to blend the ends. We don't want to diffuse the color that much. We want to keep it really nice and dark. Go back in because I feel like the color has kind of faded. I'm just really blending it out into my face as well because that way it's easier to just clean it up. Two hours later. So basically you just want to have a little bit of an area in the middle of your eyelids that's like plain. I'm confused which shimmery shadow to use. Hmm. Taking this really really shimmery golden color over here. Use my good old fingers and pack it on to that gap. You don't want to worry about blending it in at this point. Make sure that you're really packing it on. So this is what it looks like right now. It looks completely weird. But now we need to take a brush. Just start blending it very lightly. Go back into that dark color and go in and fix the edges. You basically just want to go back and forth between these two steps a couple of times until it looks really smooth and seamless. Blending it all in once again. I'm very bad at talking and making people understand what I'm trying to convey but I hope I'm not making a fool out of myself. Yeah. I'm almost happy and getting both your eyes to match is such a task like one eye will always turn out so good and the other eye is just like huh? I think I made it you guys just kidding well, now that I'm moderately happy with how it has turn out, turned out I'm gonna take a wet wipe and just clean just try to create a very clean line there don't don't like dig in your nails into your uh, you know under eye but just did exactly that but it's not very good for your skin just gonna put a little bit of uh, an eye cream under the eyes because 
I feel bad for them. Now I'm just gonna color correct using my usual Kat Von D palette and be right back. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever HD. Actually, it's Ultra HD. Just gonna do the usual. It's really good for, you know, those hot, humid days. I don't like a lot of foundation on my forehead. I feel like I don't need that much. But I concentrate most of my foundation on, you know, the sides of my face. Never forget your neck. It's really not practical to wear earrings and do my makeup, but that's what beauty gurus do, okay? So that's why I'm doing it. Just making sure everything is nice and blended. For concealer, I'm going to be using this little guy, the MAC Pro Longwear. With this concealer, I prefer working one eye at a time because it really dries up. And to clean up that edge, I like to take it on a little brush and just go like that. I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. Go back in and blend it. Now I'm just going to do the other eye. The angle at which I had actually cleaned up both these eyes were different. So I can fix this uh, right now. And beat that nose. I'm also just popping some around my mouth. So to contour, I'm actually going to use the LA Pro concealer. You guessed it right. I'm starting off with my forehead, like from the top of your ears down. You don't want to bring it like all the way up to your mouth. I mean, you can if you want to blend it into your hairline and then come back and wash your hair. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and push it up. Like if I want to intensify it a little bit more, I'll put some more. And then again, just tap it in, wiggle, and blend upwards. This one's cute. This one's cute too. That's it. And with what was left, I'll go, go under my uh, jawline. Get to like master the art of... Uh, contouring your nose but then this is how I do it next I'm just gonna take some loose powder and set my face with it it's gonna make our uh, nose contour really sharp and up some on my forehead then I'm gonna take my hula bronzer and just bronze up everywhere that I applied that contour shade and then I like to go back into my uh, loose powder and just clean up over here oh, that's intense bro that's a lot of powder <coughs> Now I'm gonna go do my eyebrows. I don't think anybody wants to see how I do my eyebrows because it's really basic. So I just filled my eyebrows in and I'm really happy with it. I know they're not supposed to be like twins, but they're sisters or something like that. There's something like that. But I tried to like make it as even as possible, but that's just never gonna happen. It's not gonna look exactly the same, but I try hard. I think all that overplucking in my teens spinning off. I'm gonna go back to the palette and take the shade over here. So for something dark like this, I do like to line my eyelids very lightly, nothing crazy, no winged thing, just as a you know base for my uh, lashes. I don't know if you can make it out, but I've lined this eye and not this eye. Sorry if I scared you with this weird face but I'm just tight lining my waterline and just smudging that kajal in. 
you know by this time like the powder you applied on your forehead and all is like almost gone you want to diffuse if there's any harsh line now it's time for blush and i'm feeling very festive so i'm going to take this uh, milani baked blush and lose track of time like you can go overboard you're going for a wedding so it's fine you guessed it right now tell either there's no stopping me applying it to my inner corners i'm also putting it on the uh, tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose I like it. Let me put on lashes and I'll be right back. So I've just popped on my lashes. Not something really dramatic. It's, some lashes are just too crazy that you know you can't really see any of the work you've put into the eyeshadow. So for lipstick, I've decided to use the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Madrid. I'm just gonna put on a bindi and I'm ready for an imaginary wedding. It's super simple. I love this eye look. It's really easy but still looks like, oh my god, what the hell have you done to your eyes? Okay, so it's that time again where I make weird faces. Uh, don't worry, it's just gonna be there for 10 seconds. I promise. That's it. It's over. Alright guys, that's it. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And also please, please, please subscribe to me. It would mean the world to me. Thank you. Bye guys.